What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is going to be an installation video today. Installation of what? It's going to be an installation of a Sure Shade. Now what is a Sure Shade? A Sure Shade is a top that's going to go ahead and mount to my existing Bimini top. It's going to have a built-in boot. We unzip the boot, you press a button, and it's going to automatically extend a Bimini top. That's going to extend from the top of the T-top almost to about the back of the motor. Give me an additional five feet of shade, which is going to be huge for our trips all the way from sandbar to scalloping to lobstering to the Everglades trips and everything in between. It's gonna be an amazing addition to this boat. Gonna add so much coverage. We're gonna take you guys through the whole installation process. We got the top, dad's going through it right now, just kind of taking a look at what we got. I'm gonna take you inside and show you everything that came in the box and all the instructions and everything else. Here we go. So as you can see, dad is going through the instructions on how we're gonna go ahead and wire this thing. You can see the two main actuators, the two crossbars that are gonna go across holding the T-top, the switch that's included, the DC converter. Did I say that right? I did say it right. I think so, something like that. And over here are how they mount to the top itself on top. And my buddy at Treasure Coast CNC went ahead and made us these pucks. We're gonna go ahead and finish them off with some nice polish. These things are gonna do great. They're gonna go ahead and lift it up a little bit because my T-top has a crown across the top. So with just the space, uh, just mounts, it wouldn't fit. So he had to go ahead and make us some spaces which are gonna give us the clearance and it's also gonna give us a little bit more clearance on top of our heads so we don't have to tilt our heads or anything at night. Came with everything we needed, all the connections for the, uh, for the wire. We just need to get a little bit extra wire so we can make all the transfers from the T-top all the way down to the batteries. Came with the switch that dad has that's gonna mount into my existing um, into my existing switch panel, which is really, really nice. And also, if your boat has a uh, aluminum top, like a, uh, a pole top, instead of being a hard top, they have the connections to where you don't even have to drill into the top. It just mounts directly to your existing T-top without having to drill any holes or anything else. So that's, that's pretty, really, pretty cool, pretty cool there. But we are gonna have to go through the long process of drilling, mounting, center lining, and all that fun stuff. We're gonna show you how we do it. All right, so we have the actuators up here with the mounts. What we did was we walked on the other side and put the other, the other uh, actuator on the other side of the boat. We took measurements from that end to this end and made sure it would fit, made sure it was equal, made sure it was square on the boat. So that way, when, it's, when it gets extended out, it will all be straight and uniform, pulling evenly throughout the whole thing. We haven't mounted it completely yet. We're gonna go ahead and mount that side, remeasure. We know our mark is 59 and a half inches wide, which will get us dead set on where we need to be on this side to, to be matching this side. So the next thing we are gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and drill out our little holes, put the spacers and mount this side, and then we'll measure across 59 and a half inches, drill it again, and then we'll be good. We'll go ahead and completely finalize it, silicone, all the good works, and we'll, our actuators will be set. So we're gonna go ahead and Mark those holes, drill the holes, and we'll get back to you. All right, so we got the holes drilled and we just have one, oops, we just have one bolt through right now and kind of holding it so we can get our measurements on the other side of the top where we're gonna go ahead and drill our holes and mount them. We're gonna go ahead and mount this one first and then measure 32 and a half inches back because that's how far back that mount is from the front mount. They have to be at least 30 inches apart, they say. Then we're just gonna go ahead and take the measurement from the front two, line it up with the two in the back, and then we should have a perfect square, rectangle, whatever it is, up top. We're gonna go ahead and once we're all done, we're gonna go ahead and shave these, these bolts down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna have my buddy De Palma from Treasure Coast CNC, the one that made the spacers, have him make a nice little cover that'll match the bobby all nice and white. That'll go over all that, like a nice little puck. You won't even know it's there, it'll just, it'll just look like a little raised a little bit of a raise there on the, the top, so it'll clean it up and we'll have all this, the bolts sticking up underneath. So we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes on that side and get that one mounted. Good. All right, that one's up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and measure from that end to the same exact end over there, and also on the back, the farthest points. Make sure they both match up. Make sure the same distance, that'll let us know that they are perfectly parallel on the top. Parallel to each other, at least. So they're, they're perfectly straight along the top as well because we triple checked that, as you can see. So all the holes are, are drilled, not mounted, 
like I said, we're gonna just go ahead and shove the bolts through there. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the top, make sure everything lines up the actuators. And then what we'll do is we'll take these out one by one, seal them up, drop them in, drill the drill the bolt. Go ahead and put the lug nut on oh, lug, it's not a lug nut either, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Change the tires. Put the bolt and washer on, and then we'll go ahead and secure it up. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling the actuators and the arms and the top. Dad is gonna go ahead and drill for the wire that we're gonna have enter up around here somewhere into the void space. So this will drop into the box up there, up into this space, down, in through the tubing right there, out through the bottom part. And what we're gonna do is we're, the switch it came with is gonna fit perfectly right inside of our old switches. We already have power ran to those. And we're also gonna put the DC converter right on top of that box there almost called it an adapter we're gonna go ahead and line up the wires and i am going to start putting together the shirt shade dad has the first hole drilled for the wire what we're doing is we are running it up through our t-top right next to my rod hoser there's a little hard to see but we're gonna run it into there do the same thing on the other side and we have these oh, that is not it what we have is these nice little clamshell vents that we're going to put up top so it'll really it'll hide it a little bit give it a nice cleaner finish nice low profile what i was working on back here was i went ahead and installed my crossbars which were very very simple just slid them through there's an opening on each side slid them on through then i took these little pins that have little locks on them stuck them in the back i didn't tighten these down all the way yet i just put them up there so they'd be on and I can mess around with it a little bit. Again, this is loose. We haven't fully secured this yet because we're messing around with it. But we had to make sure that it was going to clear our, nav our anchor light there and also to where I could use my rod holders up here. These rod holders won't be affected. I noticed on some of the pictures that some of the boats had them on the outside. They were out here, so you could still utilize this even with the top up. But for me, I wanted some overhang. And when I, when I do my kite fishing, I keep my rods right there. And if I put it out here, I wouldn't be able to use my rods for kite fishing or I wouldn't even be able to use those rods as rod storage. This way, it's up out of the way and when I'm ready to use it, I just simply unzip it and extend it. Of course, I had to have my rods down from right there and there. However, I still have my side rod holders, all four of them right there, the three on the side, the gunnels. I still have plenty of rod storage. So this is very nice. It's tucked away nicely. Like I said, all it lets it do is just secure these up. Like I said, I'm gonna get my buddy from Treasure Coast CNC, the one that made these nice pucks that are holding the top up firmly here gonna shave, shave those down we're gonna make a nice little puck so you will never even know that there just be a nice little oval white piece it'll match it'll look good so what's left is these are the mounting those are the parts that uh, you used to tighten your uh, your shade here with so we're gonna go ahead and get those tightened up and secured and once we get power to it we're gonna go ahead and extend it then we'll go ahead and do that I misspoke we're gonna go ahead and extend it all the way make sure it's where we want and then we'll go ahead and secure the top all the way throughout up there through right here and then that's when we will go ahead and secure these mounting bolts so we think this is how we're going to leave the wires they really won't move much they're both ran into the t-top there's this side they're both ran up into the t-top and we have our new wire cable ran all the way down coming out we're going to connect it right to that battery switch right there Ooh, the thunder all right so like i said all these are in the back part right here is just a little drop-in pin it's easy to get off if you need to you just push in that little button but it locks into where it can't get off and you just tighten this up with oops sorry about that you just tighten this other one with the bottom allen wrench and it's not going anywhere so now this part is secured all we have to do is figure out the exact length we want this one and then we'll secure them up by the bottom, tie it up up here. Dad is getting ready to connect the wires. And Dad, what do, what do they say about these wires again? You take the two from the actuators and connect them into the, the main line there. Pretty simple, reds with the reds, black with the black, leading all the way down to the power source. So you have both the actuators going into one, all 16 gauge wire. We got about 20 feet of that, ran down. We're gonna have some extra we're gonna run it back, like I said before, several times, back to that switch, to the DC converter, and then I believe the DC converter goes to the battery, correct? Yes. Correct. Correct. 
keep on moving. We are boogieing along. We've been working on it, uh, let's see, since all day. But it looks good. It looks very, very good. I'm really excited to see how much additional coverage is and just to see how tall it's going to be compared to us, how much headroom we'll have. And overall, it's, it's going to it fits perfectly. Very, very pleased with this. So that's that little clamshell. It's not completely secured up top yet. We got to put some sealing on it, but you can see how much cleaner it makes it look rather than just a wire and some silicone. So that's what it looks like after. And I'll give you the before. Little attention to details. So yeah, I can see it looks a little bit better. Some storms out there. We're gonna we're trying to get this done before and you know, all sealed up. Looks like hopefully all it stays away. All right, so we had, we go in ahead and connected the two to one wires. This we also uh, applied some conduit, heat shrank them, and then we just went ahead and wrapped them in electrical tape. Again, this one goes to that one actuator up over there. This one goes to the other one. And look what I've done. Whoops. As you can see, we got a little bit of sealing on there. See if I can get a better view for y'all. I'm gonna flip you upside down. Put some clear, or excuse me, white silicone sealant around it, just so no water gets up into my T-top. You know, it just makes it look a lot nicer, the clamshells. All right, so what we got here is we have the wire coming from the T-top, comes right down into there, the white wire. Then it goes ahead and connects to our switch. Then from our switch, it goes to our DC converter, attaching the um, yellow to the red there. And then the other one is the white to the black. And then we went ahead and connected it to our positive and negative wire up top over there coming out of the DC converter. I don't know how much they all can see how well I explained it, but it's, it's, the, mo it's the moment of truth. Everything's ready. Top's ready to go. Would you care to do the honors of just simple press a button and see go. what happens? Here we go. Oh yes, it works. So smooth. So smooth. All you do is you just press the button that says open. And that's what it does. It opens. And you go all the way until it stops. Keep going. And that's it. And you just go ahead and secure her onto the, the little plastic clips here that sit right up there. We still have to secure, we don't have it secured right there. We just wanna make sure it all worked before we did and it does. And look at this, just enough clearance. You can see the little bit of space we have here, but we want it up that high so we get this little extra clearance underneath. Woohoo! Celebrate! Nice platinum color to match the bottom of the boat. Let's go ahead and hop out, give you guys an outside view. The shade comes all this thing. Let's go back to the other side. See how much extra shade we get off of this boat. So if I'm standing off to the side, we have all the way to the back of the motor now. Obviously, in the right, not right now, but when the sun is up, all the way to the back of the motor of shade. And if you look, it is almost as wide as the T-top is. 57 inches of shade. It also goes back 57 inches. So it really does add a lot, a lot of extra shade on this thing. It is a game changer. So as you saw, is just how we retracted it in and put the boot, put the boot over. It was a simple up and over. Put our silicone in on these guys, top and bottom, and whoop, I don't know if you can see that, but we secured it so it's not going back and forth. And she is pretty much done on the boat. Everything's installed. Super, actually, super, super simple process. Awesome. Huge thanks to Sure Shade. Huge thanks to Treasure Coast. CNC works for getting that done for me. Really, really appreciate it. I'll put both their stuff in the description box below. I'm gonna go on the pool at the top. If you like the video, hit the like button and the subscribe subscribe button. Ooh, man, it's been it's been a long day. Me, you, the boat, the sure shade, and dad, we'll see you next time.